The underground is prime real estate in New York City. Millions of riders use the subway every day. That's an audience advertisers and businesses want to capture. I take the trains. Um, the trains are quite interesting. Michael Anthony Pagase has a minute to talk at Grand Central. Normally, we're just passing through or waiting for a train which is when you start to look around. I think they need to clean out the train stations inside where the tracks are at all the way through. They need to keep on working on it, um, and, and a lot of work needs to be done. The MTA has been taking a look at some of the empty areas of the system. The development office wants to expand retail and food options. The new stands will still be in business. How about some additional high-end vending machines or new pop-up shops? If you're hungry or thirsty, grab it on the go and run. You, uh, you think that they could do more, uh, have more of a selection down there? Yes, most definitely. Add some more food or something? Add more food, a lot more variety would be better. That was the design concept for Turnstile, which opened in 2016 at the Columbus Circle Station. It's become an eating and shopping destination. There's similar potential for the station in Port Authority. Vacant storefronts are getting a new look. New signs offer up the possibilities. Space for rent on the walls, on the beams, on the actual turnstile. All the extra revenue certainly adds up from advertising. It's been as much as $125 million a year. Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.